three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, no yeah. games on view. Yeah. yeah, I would. You would. I'm very curious to see how the ex Premier League players get on. Yeah. Um, what kind of standard? What kind of league it is? The the crowd, the atmosphere. I would definitely watch it. Some of the players that you can see are Benzema, Kante, Jota, Ruben Neves, Koulibaly. Uh, where should we go? Firmino, Mares, Fafana, Jordan Henderson, possibly. These are big names, but I I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know if they're big enough for me to sit by the telly and watch it, right? Maybe out of curiosity for one week or maybe two weeks maximum. But also, it's all very well having these players, but who are the other players? You know, you see that in the MLS when big superstars go out there, you know, and Messi going over to, to Miami. But who's supplying the ball to, to Messi? It's someone yeah. we've never really heard of. It's someone that's nowhere near the level, and although not many people are near the level of Messi. But you understand what I'm saying? So I just wonder what kind of level of football we'll be getting out there anyway. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um I played it abroad, Singapore, India. I know it's not the same level as this, but the standard of the locals was very, very basic and it gets very frustrating. Um, but this league seems like the standard will be much more higher mm -hmm. because of the amount of money involved. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to watch it, see if it if it's on, see, see the standard. And if it's no good, then... You won't be getting my attention again. Do, do you do you think that if more players make the move and I expect them to, they've you know they've got yeah. li literally money coming out the ground. Um, do you think that there are maybe floating football fans that sometimes they will go and see their local side play and sometimes they can't be with like, if it's raining in the morning. But do you think that that kind of football fan will actually go? Do you know what? I'm not going to now pop down the road and see my local side. I'd rather stay in and watch it. Do you think it will affect that? I think it will. I think some, yeah, when they can't get to their game for whatever reason, they go, well, well what else is on? Saudi Pro League. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go and watch Ronaldo, Benzema. Let me see um, Jordan Anderson, see how he's getting on. See if he looks like he's enjoying it. If the team's good, who's winning, who's losing. Yeah. 100%. Do you think we'll be covering it on TalkSport? <laughs> no, a, ser a serious question. Not necessarily the game's live, but do you think we'll be talking about... Do you know what? I think we'll, because of the amount of the, the players I've stand who's out there, the big names players, yeah. we might say, you know, Benzema scored in that trick this week against Ronaldo or, you know, Angelo Conte is, is, is played well. We, we might we might follow it a little bit. Mm. For me, I wouldn't watch it. I think, why would you want to watch players that are clearly past the best, only over there for the pension, and... It just doesn't interest me. The Premier League's the best league in the world. Why would you want to watch a second-class league with players going back there for just a payout? Okay, I don't, I sat don't get it. Saturday afternoon, Man City on on the box. There's no game on TV on a Saturday afternoon at three o'clock. But you can watch Kareem Benzema's team up against you know any number of well-known players. You're gonna. It's on the telly. You gonna watch it or not? No, absolutely not. And uh, doesn't interest me one bit, mate. Okay. The Premier League, Champions League, and then the FA Cup. Like, you know, we're, we're travel winners, you know that, don't you? So, uh, oh, you broke well, up we there, Steve. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Crackling. <laughs> Didn't what he said. What did you say? Oh, it doesn't matter. Move on anyway, Steve. Go on. <laughs> no, I just think uh, the Premier League and any any kind of football in this country, even non-league football, I'd watch that if it was on telly, but not something from the Saudi League. It's like the China League. They'll fizzle out in two years. Yeah, I think the the reason why the Thanks, Saudi Steve. Saudi fizzled, I mean the China fizzled out, was because the government stepped in. Uh, this is backed by the government, and I don't see them slowing down. I don't think this is going to be like a one year, couple years wonder. Mm. This is a long term project. It's fine to see where it could go, right? It, it's, if this yeah, is if, if this you, is literally day one, if you've got endless funds, it's, it, it can go anywhere. Yeah, it can go, and you continuously pump money, and then ads will turn. We've we've seen it. How many players now are going out there? Yeah, what would it take? I'll tell you what, I'll ask the question. If you're like Steve and you're saying, I'm not going to watch it, what would it take for you to watch it? What's your view on the Saudi League? Are you going to watch it? Yeah, I've already watched some of it. Uh, I watched, I've watched a few games Ronaldo's been in because they've, they've, they've shown it on YouTube, um, the games. So, um, yeah, I mean, he went over there. I mean, a lot of people thought it was just for the money. I think it was for the project. I mean, he's he sort of opened the floodgates, really, and let other players, other big big players know it's it's OK to go there. I really do believe if he hadn't gone there, I don't think we'd be seeing this influx, to be honest. Um, almost um, going through the forbidden door, almost. Um, he, he sort of opened the gate, the likes of Benzema and Kante, and even even your more you know players that are in their prime, like ne uh, Neves and uh, Milinkovic-Savic and people like that are going over there now. So, uh, 
it's it's going to get like the live the live golf. It's going to be that sort of project. I think it's going to literally be like live golf. They're going to go for the, you know, this is this is just the start of the project. But mm. give it, I don't know, two, three, five years, they're going to be going for the best players, the best players. Um, uh, and I can see it happening. I really can because money talks at the end of the day. And if if other qualities there, you know, if you can get paid a decent wage and test your ability against the best players. You know, whether that's in Saudi or MLS, wherever, you know, it's it, you're going to go uh, at the end of the day. Uh, money talks. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll be watching it. Okay. Lou, well, obviously you've seen some games. What is the standard from what you've seen so far, from what you watched? Well, the, 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 the standard, of, I'm not, you know, don't get me wrong. The standard of, of some of the games has been, you know, it was quite good. When I watched um, Al Nassar play uh, Al Hilal, who won, who won the league in the end, um, I mean, they do have do they do tend to have the better quality of players, but then you come a, you come across the lesser teams out, out there, uh, and you've got you know players that are, are part time effectively still. I think some of them still have day jobs. Luke, are you um, watching highlights for the whole ninety minutes live on YouTube? Uh, I've watched a bit of both, to be honest. I watched um, Ronaldo's debut in full, which they showed. Oh, he's gone, Luke. Oh, he's gone. Uh, it's in, it's interesting. When Luke's talking about it, he's talking about it like he's watching, you know, Premier League football yeah. or Championship football. I don't think there'll be too many people that will watch 90-minute matches week in, week in. I mean, there's so much football available now, right? I mean, we're lucky, right? Mm. We, it's our job, so we have to watch Match of the Day. We have to watch all the live games. But when the season is up and running, you have a game. You have a game S- Sunday, uh, Saturday evening, Sunday a couple of times. Monday night. Monday night. Then you have Champions League Tuesday, Wednesday, Europa League Thursday. Sometimes there's a game on a Friday if there wasn't one on a Monday. I mean, it, literally, it's just too much football. Yeah, I just don't know whether I can stomach another two games <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon of players that are a little bit past their sell-by date, you know? Yeah, no, the, the only reason why I would, I'd be watching it would be to see if it's got legs, to see if there is going to be improvement and mm. it's going to continue moving forward and you would see more players going there. If, if more you can tell English players, away. Yeah, if more English players went over, if Harry Kane went, I'd watch it. Just to, just to see, but I don't think I'd watch a 90-minute game, actually. I don't well, it depends. It. You might watch it and think, this is really entertaining. I'm really getting some enjoyment out of it. There's other leagues what? like there's other, the Scottish League I could easily watch every week. No. Right? Spanish League. No, no, but I'm just saying these are leagues available to me. Spanish League, Italian League. You know, oh. there's, there's bigger teams in this in the Spanish La Liga. There's bigger teams in Italy that I could watch and I don't. No, no, yeah, I, I get that. In so Italy. I don't think I'd watch it. But you, you got to see if it's got good atmosphere, if it's an entertaining game. No, I just, standard, I just don't care. I just don't rubbish, care about it. Then, yeah, you you may switch off. Yeah, and it's not for me. Unless, of course, Talk Saudi come in, then it's definitely for me. Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate, Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk 